the last objective of Buried Echoes, it would seem, is also its most poignant. What a note to end this long-running series on. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We are in the middle of an aurora, and I'm kind of excited because we're not far from where I left my clothing. And we have to find a waterfall. I'm not quite sure where we're going to find it, but we're going to find it. First things first, let me head back over here. And we're going to... I, I need to remember exactly where I put my stuff down. Because I actually don't remember precisely, but I know it was in one of the outlying buildings here. So we're going to figure that out in real time. We found a tool belt in there that uh, I'm very happy to have found, but at the same time, I'm not sure that I... Uh, like, it, it doesn't seem, given the other equipment that I already have, it doesn't seem to be helping that much. So, like... So far, the the actual physical rewards that we are receiving for completing these tales, yeah, I think it's actually back here, have not been that incredible. I mean, the rifle holster is, I guess, helping a little. I really haven't gotten the sense that it's revolutionized my playstyle. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe that's just because of the way that I play or don't play the Long Dark. Okay, I think my clothes are in... I right, need to step through here. There we go. Where the heck did I put them? I don't think I put them in a container, did I? No. Alright. Looks like we might need a torch for this. Well, actually... <laughs> hold on. We have an Aurora, so we can use this. I think I know where they might be. Um, which is, yet again, not actually in this building but in another building, the one where I left the mining pants originally. Hey, there's a storm lantern. I'm going to pick that up because I might be able to harvest it for more uh, lantern fuel. So I'm moving a little bit slowly at the moment. Oh, hold on. Let me not walk out into contaminated snow. All right, so I think it's one building farther back. right? Or is it this building up here? Oh, it's, yeah, that's right. It's this building up here. I was about to say, just judging by where that pipe was headed, I didn't get the sense that it really could go that much farther back. Okay, so this is where, yeah, that's a ruined canister. This is where I left the mining clothes. Where did I put my freaking clothes? What the actual heck? Did I, did I use one of these cabinets? No. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I am rolling my eyes so hard at myself right now because I thought I remembered where my clothes were. Where I'd set them down, and now it's like... I mean, obviously I can find them again. But this is not going as smoothly as I'd hoped. Which building would I have changed in? Hold on. Let's go down here real quick. Kind of frustrating, because I don't want to spend too much time looking around here. And now I've committed, because <laughs> since I've just created that particular save point. Maybe I changed up here. Let me check up here. This is when I was going into the mine. But now that I've created that save point, I can't, um, like pause the recording, find out where I left my clothes, and start a fresh recording without me having to look around. So, we're doing this. Hopefully we won't have to look too far or too long. Alright, so this leads up to the other uh, kind of conveyor building, which I don't think I would have changed all the way up there. 
Would I have used one of these lockers, maybe? Would I have been that thoughtful about it? No. I don't think I changed once I got down into the mine. It's possible that I just overlooked where the clothes were. <laughs> it's also possible that all my clothing has been viciously despawned by the game in a very hurtful way. I would be kind of surprised, but, you know, that's it's not outside the realm of possibility, I suppose. So, let's look... Oh, stuck. Can't go through that way. I do want to check this building just to be absolutely sure. There's also that building over there. But I don't remember really going in there previously. Can I go in this door? No, I can't. Can I go in this door? Yes, I can. Flashlight coming in really handy. Here they are. Okay. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, wow. Yeah. I left a lot of stuff previously. Um, stuff that I don't necessarily need. I'll take the food. I'll pick everything up temporarily, but I don't imagine I'm going to be keeping all this with me. The main thing I want to do is just put my clothing back on. First of all, let's put the, let's turn the light off for just a second while I reconfigure this stuff. So put that back on. Put those back on. Put those back on. So we're going to be considerably better protected against the elements now, which I'm very, very happy about. And also, we can go ahead and drop this extra gear. Not that it's going to change too much, because I just picked up a whole lot of things. Yeah, foreman's tool belt. We'll have to sort of have a discussion about that, and I'll just continue to pay attention. I'm not going to drop it just yet, because I, I don't want to until I know what it is that I'm dropping, but I'm really not seeing the purpose of having it with me right now. Okay, this is a lot of food, and it's mainly a lot of corn. I'm going to drop maybe the lower condition corn. It doesn't, at this point in the game, because of where my cooking skill is, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to pay a lot of attention to condition. But I'm just going to, you know, maintain that habit. Okay. Let me drink a coffee, because I do need the energy. Oh, actually, turns out maybe I need a lot of energy. Hold on. Hold on. Let me into my... Yeah, move all the inventory. Yeah, if we're that tired... Well, you know what? If we're that tired, and I need to eat stuff anyway, here's what we'll do. Let's sleep. I know I just drank the coffee. It's kind of counterproductive, but let's sleep for six hours. Chemical, po chemical poisoning risk goes away. And now we can start looking for that... ...waterfall in earnest. Okay, so let's eat some tomato soup right off the bat, because that'll help us drop some extra weight. While also getting rid of some thirst and some hunger. I'm going to go ahead and down both of those cans. Not particularly worried about temperature at the moment. And I'm assuming, as I said at the beginning of the episode, I'm assuming that we're looking now at the last objective of this tale. I, I, I would think that that's what we're doing. Drop those. Drop that wood, which I don't need. Oh my gosh, let's drop all the coal, which is not necessary at the moment. I'll find sticks if I absolutely need them. I do have a ton of matches here that are just... I, I don't need this many matches at this point. So, in case you haven't heard me say it previously, the plan at the moment... Let's get rid of those canisters. I have so many stems. Holy crap. Not necessary. We might do some serious sacrificing of some of our excess inventory before we start the new series. Speaking of the new series, one of the plans that I kind of have for the next tale, and I might not start this series right away, because one of the things I want to do in a higher priority is do something in misery mode um, and give people a chance to experience the tale 
uh, before I dive in with it. But um, rather than doing an entirely new playthrough where I sort of start in a vanilla zone and then pursue the completion of these objectives, I want to actually continue this particular save, which I have never done on the channel before. I've never, to my memory, I've never started a series. Hold on, I realize I need something to drink and I have nothing. Um, might be worth it to make a fire real quick. Ironically, that would have been really handy with that wood and that coal that I just dropped, but there's more back here, so I'll just go grab it over here. Now we need to find this waterfall. Perfect. Yeah, this is literally all I need. Maybe a little bit of extra wood would come in handy too, which I can easily get. So the plan is, we'll be wrapping this series up as soon as I finish the tale, which it's been a long series. It's been a longer than intended series. It's also been a bumpier series than I would have ever wanted on the channel. But I have chosen, quite intentionally, to kind of let it be that while working through, you know, a lot of new hardware stuff and just adjustments that I've been making with the channel and with my other priorities to sort of keep things going around here and step back up to a level of content production that I'm comfortable with. And I have been taking my time with it, and I really appreciate your patience. But this series is almost at an end hard as it is to believe. Let's go ahead and extinguish that for a moment. Still don't have a cooking pot because I left it behind again. So let's go for some water just so I can have some on me. We are warm enough by this fire, thankfully. Let's go ahead and drink that. That's not going to completely quench my thirst, but it will go a long way towards it. We'll go ahead and start that again. Drink that. That will completely quench my thirst. And it's interesting because we're closing in on 100 episodes. I don't know that we're actually going to reach 100 episodes, but we've definitely taken this series a lot farther than I would have ever thought that we have taken it, given that it's just a series zero run. This is something that was intended to showcase some of the newer content, and then Signal Void took considerably longer than I thought it would because I was trying to be deliberate and make sure that I wasn't skipping over okay we've got glimmer fog lovely timing lovely time game game listen 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 when I say lovely timing I'm kidding that's horrible timing could you have done that to me at a worse moment I was literally about to start looking for something really important and now I've just basically got to go inside and sleep until this glimmer fog's gone Oh, that's so rude. Oh my god. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's get back inside. You cannot but laugh at that. That is the most exquisitely terrible timing. I was about to genuinely say dickhead timing. That was the thought that came to my mind. Like, game, game, how dare you? throw glimmer fog at me right now at this exact moment. It's just rude. It's just rude. All right, so we have insomnia risk. Uh, I'm going to sleep and hopefully the glimmer fog is short-lived. Seems like it's still going though. Insomnia risk is growing, which I don't love. But like there's no point looking for this waterfall until this passes. So we're going to just We'll do this one hour at a time. So tired. And there it is. Insomnia. Sleep is troubled and rest is frequently interrupted. Wait 18, 36 hours for the affliction to pass. Herbal tea can help lessen the impact of insomnia. Okay, guess I'm drinking herbal tea. That's nice, I guess. Looks like 34 hours. But maybe there's some randomness to it. So sleep is going to be hard to find for the next little bit. Don't love that. That's genuinely the most hilariously bad timing. If I had known exactly where my clothes were, then it wouldn't be as big of a deal. 
But one, I guess, silver lining to this is that it gives me the opportunity to go through some of my food, which I am lugging around a ton of food, and lighten that load a little bit, which is not the worst thing. I have more coffee that I can make too, which is also nice. I do want to go ahead and drink some more herbal tea. Make sure I keep that effect topped off. 32 hours, 52 minutes. Wow. Quite a long time. That we're going to have insomnia. Thanks to that glimmer fog. But we are fully rested and we have really nice gear. So maybe, just maybe, we don't need it. Like we don't need to sleep right now. We might be able to go out and spot that waterfall as long as the weather is decent. So let's try it. Let's see what happens if we just go out looking for that waterfall. Also, yep, got some extra cans. Let's drop those. The sport bow, I don't technically need on me. But I just love the fact that we found it and it's so light. I guess I'll drop those. We've got some spare bullets that we never made. Okay. The interesting thing is, I still have not fully explored this zone, but that's okay. There's more to be explored in future content. Alright, let's have a look outside. It doesn't sound like the weather is too terrible, but it looks pretty terrible. Okay, there's a waterfall up there. Hold on. I do see a waterfall up there that looks very much like the Polaroid. We're going to need to keep this log kind of open. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, but the good news is I know there's shelter this way. So I'm going to just make my way this direction. The chance, chances are I'm going to run into a wolf or two here. I don't necessarily want to fight them, but I will if I have to. I'm going to just take whatever chemical damage I take here, because I, I know that I don't have to worry about it messing with me too much. Yep. 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 Keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. Wow, this is actually a bigger poison zone than I remember it being. I know. Chemical poisoning risk. I'm well aware. I was watching it before you even gave me that warning game. But, okay. Um, I want to start moving this direction. Keeping my head on the swivel. It does seem like that is one potential waterfall. We will probably just have to start mapping the zone in order to find this waterfall. There are two waterfalls back there. That's one of the reasons I didn't go that direction. All right, moving back into a poisoning zone. All right, I really don't want to stay in this if I can help it. There we go. I still don't know what happens if that bar fills all the way up, but I I don't want to find out. I'm telling you right now. Not interested in finding out. Okay. I think that particular waterfall that I'm looking at up there is not the right one because the rock facings on either side are taller than the ones on the Polaroid. At least from this angle. Oh, that's a wolf right there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, you see me. There are two wolves, only one sees me though. I'm just going to make my way to shelter. And I am going to make my way up these hills kind of behind the buildings here. Because... I know they will take me to a higher point on the map. 
which is useful for kind of looking around and seeing where this waterfall may be. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, man. I know. You're you're real angry. You want to eat me because you think my expedition parkas will be tasty. But let me tell you, you are wrong. Okay. Uh, lantern doesn't have any fuel. Although I did pick up that other lantern, didn't I? Hold on. Um, let's harvest this one. Yeah, that's one thing that's given me some extra encumbrance. Totally forgot about that. That allows me to pass a little bit of time. We'll refuel this lantern with the little fuel that it has. And I'm just going to look around for a moment. I'm going to just try and sleep because I'd rather do this during the daytime if I can help it. Okay. Water. Chemical poisoning risk is gone. I do still have insomnia for 27 more hours, but right now I don't need too much sleep, so that's okay. Uh, I'm going to just pass time for about five hours. Okay, we have an aurora. The aurora would be nice for, like, looking around in some sense. I'm not completely uh, unaware of that particular advantage, but I'd rather look around during just a bright moment of daylight. Let's take another look at this, shall we? The Enduring Waterfall wanted to capture the view from my usual spot. My hunch, I don't think we're actually carrying her remains around, although I might be wrong about that. I picked them up. I mean, I have them, but in the same way that we don't actually have the wire cutters in our inventory. You've noticed that wire cutters are nowhere to be found here. Kind of a plot item. Doesn't take up space in your backpack, which I do appreciate. Let's go ahead and eat some pork and beans here. Get rid of some excess weight. I'm inclined to think that because, you know, she did a lot of work here and spent a lot of time, you know, at the mine, like working for Rudiger, doing whatever they were doing. I'm inclined to think that the waterfall is in either here or in the Forsaken airfield, maybe. I'm more inclined to think that it's here. And I'm inclined to think that it's like up behind this area where I was looking previously. So, because it makes sense that like they would have maybe stayed here and that she would have really liked this particular spot because, you know, you would have found somewhere to sort of explore and enjoy the sites or whatever. So I'm going to sort of lean into that. And even if it's not close to here, this nice high terrain will give me hopefully a view of the zone the, st the stars are still kind of out here will give me hopefully a view of the zone I think there might be some wolves nearby I remember there were wolves on the slopes here I just don't know where they patrol so we're about to find out I guess please don't be in my face please don't be right in my face okay good all right, I don't see a waterfall immediately, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling that if I just keep climbing, I might be able to spot something. And I don't mind if I have to travel a bit to get there. We've got time. But the main thing I want is just the altitude advantage so that I can see potentially where this waterfall could be.
Oh, wow. Okay. Don't see any waterfalls back there. At least not from that angle. That's not that I'm ruling it out, but I didn't see any yet. Let's go over here. There is that waterfall that I'm moving towards. It should be over here on my right. I just don't know if it's the waterfall. And I'm still expecting a wolf. Somewhere around here. Where's that waterfall? A little bit harder to see it up here than I thought it would be. I guess it, I might need to go more over that direction, and that's fine. Okay, um... Okay, yeah, I see nothing yet. Getting pretty cold. We're actually making our way back to one of the earlier objective locations. I think that kind of dirty snow up in front of us, not only is it gonna be where the wolves are, I have a feeling the waterfall I was looking at is right up here. I wish I hadn't lost sight of it. Wait, is that it? Hold on. Yeah, see, you're there's clearly so much back here. Okay, yeah, see, this is the area that I was looking out over a moment ago. There's so much back here that you're meant to sort of explore. So this seems like it's definitely laid out for the player's sake, but I just don't see a waterfall yet. I know I saw one earlier, but now that we're no longer at the same vantage point, it's no longer visible to me. That's really interesting. I would have thought it would at least be visible. So cold. I, just want to lay down for a bit. I know, I know. This is not going particularly well here. I wish I had heated some beverages up before I went out here. I didn't think it would be this cold. I didn't think it would get this bad this fast. Okay, so the waterfall may also be over here. I think it's actually more likely that I'll see it from over here. Because where I saw the waterfall from was back there at the main facility, sort of looking out this direction. I'm genuinely expecting wolves anytime now. And I need to remember that there isn't shelter up here, so I really can't dawdle too much as I look for this waterfall. And of course, I'm assuming that the waterfall I'm looking for is in fact here, but it might be elsewhere in Great Bear. <laughs> If it's elsewhere in Great Bear, then it might take longer to finish this tale. Unfortunately. Okay, no waterfall there. Okay, there's a pathway kind of going up that direction. Okay, there's where we... Alright, that's the location that we visited previously. Where the heck is this waterfall? I mean... Not only am I asking the question in terms of trying to find what's on the Polaroid, but, like, I saw a waterfall in the distance. I know I wasn't hallucinating. I literally saw a waterfall. So where's the one that I saw? Maybe it's back here. As I was saying, maybe it'll be more visible once we get a clear view from the opposite direction. And I feel like we're getting close to that. But that doesn't mean that the waterfall I was looking at is the waterfall, you know? So this might still not be the right spot. Let's check in here. I know I've been here already. I'm kind of hoping... You know, there's definitely more here to be... Look through. Ooh, interesting. Look. Look, look, look. Hi, bunny. Yeah, boss's settlement. I've got a feeling... I've got a feeling, I mean, this path wouldn't be here, so close to civilization. I know I'm risking hypothermia, I'm risking a lot, honestly. Oh, nice. Some more arrows. 
Ooh, a cave. Ha! Huh. How about that? Perfect cave positioning. This would give me a lot, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Alright, cotton scarf. Dead person. Let's step back in here. There's some coal. Don't really need it because we're far enough back that we're safe. Hopefully no animals come into this cave. If they do, I'm in trouble. But let's eat some beef jerky. I, I, I'm I feeling good about this. Hello? I thought I put this down. Apparently I didn't. Okay. Six hours. I know we still have insomnia, so m might not get those six hours. But the main thing is just to warm up. Which I did pretty much instantaneously. No complaints there. Insomnia still for 14 hours and 11 minutes. Insomnia is not really an affliction that's messed with me too much. You know what else hasn't messed with me at all so far this series? We literally restarted from Against All Odds Season 0 before we started Zero One. Why? Because of Scurvy. And so far, Scurvy has been a non-factor. Now granted, we are playing on a difficulty where there are lots of supplies, and it's very easy to stay ahead of Scurvy. On higher difficulty, well, it's going to be a little bit harder. <laughs> and by a little bit, I mean a lot. But, okay, I'm really hoping that as I poke my head around this direction that we see a waterfall somewhere. Definitely seems like we're meant to come back here. I can see the path back towards... Yeah. Where the heck? Alright, there's the cave entrance. I can see that. This, this deer is going to spook. Yeah, I know. Also, near the waterfall from her logbook Polaroid. I would imagine there's a very obvious spot that we need to find. And so far, I am not seeing it. But I do feel like this is where I'm meant to look. It's just... I, I wish I could see the waterfall a bit more clearly, because I, I saw it in the distance and I moved toward it, but I have not seen it since I got to this area. Hi, dear. And it's annoying, because it would help me get my bearings if I could actually see it. Wow. Okay, I... I am so confused. This is not looking like at all what I thought it would look like. Is that the mine? Maybe? God, the fog is ruining my vision. Yeah, that's the mines, which means that the waterfall that I was looking at in the distance is around here somewhere. God, this this poor deer. Like, you're about to get shot just to stop distracting me, which would be a really mean thing to do. Maybe it's up here. It can't be far, because I know I went the right way. And these paths are definitely meant to take you up to a certain elevation. I feel like I'm on the right track, but man, I wish I could see or hear a waterfall, and I just can't. I also don't see water anywhere, you know? And that's frustrating. But at least we have that cave. And that's helpful. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, well now... Now I'm at a loss. It seems like... Okay. Let me go down here. This is where I just was, I think. I can see the cave back there. Yeah, this is where I just was. 
And it's, of course, the visibility's gotten worse. Okay. <laughs> that could not have been more perfectly timed. We hear the demon noise. Yeah, this is where I just was. We hear the demon noise, followed by <laughs> the perfect ominous music cue. Doesn't get better than that. Doesn't get better. Okay. Uh, I know the waterfall was in this area. Hold on. I see a river down there, which implies that the waterfall might be back this way some direction. So we're going to go this way. And see if maybe I can figure out how to get to this thing. And again, I'm making the assumption this is the right waterfall. I could be completely wrong. I could be looking at the wrong spot. I might need to spend another, another episode or two looking around. Unfortunately, it's not very specific. So what I may need to do is grab some... There is a campfire inside this cave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the charcoal from that. And we're going to do some mapping. Might not do some mapping right now because it's not very clear. But we're going to do some mapping. And we're going to use that. See what... That is the plan. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's not a burned out campfire. That actually feels wrong. That might be a mistake from a zone design standpoint. Okay, just kidding. We can't do that. I mean, we could start a fire and, and get some charcoal that way. I guess, I guess that's an option. Yeah, let's do that. Do I have fuel? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking for a moment longer because I do feel like, I still feel like I'm on the right track. I just really wish I could hear the waterfall, get a hint as to its location. Okay, wait, no. This doesn't lead back anywhere. Hi, bunny. Hey, bunny, have you seen a waterfall near here? Anywhere? Maybe? Just looking for one because I know I saw one earlier and now I feel like I was hallucinating. And once again, look at this. Like, this is a really great vantage point to use, to look around for anything resembling a waterfall. <laughs> but it's foggy. The game is being such a dick. This is so, so rude. I know I saw that waterfall. I know I did. We can go back in the footage. We can find the exact moment where I saw it. And I feel like I moved right toward it. But what we're going to have to do is go back down. And I might have to back off from this area a good ways. And we're at the end of this episode, unfortunately. But we'll have to back off from this area a very, very reasonable distance in order to be able to spot that waterfall again at all. And again, the waterfall that I was seeing didn't look like it matched the one in the picture. So I could just be wrong. Could just be wrong. Which is a lovely thought, let me tell you. It's okay to be wrong. But I don't want to spend too much time just wandering around aimlessly. So yeah, visibility is not great right now. Otherwise, what I'd do is literally charge out across there and turn around and look. But I can't do that. So let me quickly peek into this train car, because I don't remember how much of that I did the first time I came through here. I know I came in here because it's open. Got a flare there? Yeah, it is. I'm not going to pick it up, but it's there. Okay. Yeah, we need to stop this one. So here's what we're going to do. Super frustrating. 
because there was a part of me that like really wanted to just like find that waterfall and put a cap on this. It would have been really tidy, but it's okay. Like we'll just have to take an extra episode or two. It'll overlap with the other new content, which was sort of what I was expecting to happen. And then when I sat down for these recordings and things seemed to be kind of on rails, I thought maybe that won't be necessary, but it looks like it might be. So, okay, I don't have any water to speak of. But I'll bet... I know that when I was here last, I did not take all of the water from all of the toilets. And there are toilets in every single cabin. So, water is not a problem. Also, did I search this closet last time? Yeah, yes I did. See? Water. So let's go ahead and grab some water from here. Always perfectly potable. You might even say, potently potable. There's that. And we do need to sleep for six hours. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it looks like food-wise, some extra calories are in order. We're not as encumbered as we have been because we're finally starting to get through some of our food that we've been lugging around, which has been the majority of the extra weight. So I'm very welcoming of that. So let's drink some water here just to cap off thirst and then get that rest. Insomnia is 12 hours away from being a non-factor. We'll get six hours sleep. Well, maybe. Insomnia might mess with it a little bit. Or it might not. It might just be that insomnia messes with your recovery while you're sleeping. Um, but, alright, it does seem like we have a bit of an aurora, which means that at the beginning of the next episode, what I can do is use that light to look for our waterfall, thankfully. Um, it's not going to be ideal, but at least with an aurora, it'll be nice and clear. We might have some wolves to contend with, but we can focus on finding the waterfall that we're looking for, and hopefully spot it pretty quickly once I can get a more distant frame of reference and then at that point i would imagine the tale is complete it's interesting because like that's a pretty decent chunk of the bar still to be completed but um there's also the possibility that the waterfall i'm looking for again as i've acknowledged several times is not the right one so we'll keep looking as well and the aurora will give us the light that we need to you know investigate that even if it will make the wolves a little bit spicy. So there's that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For early episodes, channel emotes, and member badges, look for the join button. New episodes drop at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every day but Wednesday, and comments are always welcome. So leave your thoughts below, and I'll see you next time.